An apple? What's wrong with that? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> his two teeth were left in the apple! Guys, the kid was eating the apple, and his teeth got caught right in the apple. Oh man. Oh, he's smiling. At least you can see that it didn't hurt. I mean, he's happy. He's such a cutie pie, don't you think? He got the sweetest smile. It didn't happen to me, but with my brother, once he was eating a candy that my grandmother had prepared, it was very hard, extremely hard, to the point that none of us wanted to eat it. But my brother went straight to eat it because it is his favorite candy. And he grabbed it, and when he was about to bite into it, what we heard was my brother's scream. It wasn't a scream of pain, but he was so scared. Of course, the surprise. His tooth was stuck there, just like what happened to this child. It's really a good trick to get your baby teeth out. Dude, the mom slid in with the baby and the other one wedged up her butt. Yes, he traveled directly to the woman's crack. He jumped down and his head did... Hey, wait, listen up, sound editors. Play the audio that goes like this. Did you see? I knew it was going to be really good with that audio. It was perfect. But what is he doing? Banana peel on the floor? It's a prank. Oh right, look, says my five-year-old son wanted to play a joke on my husband when he gets home from work. Surely he had to learn that like from Mario Kart. And there's the child waiting for the daddy to arrive. And the other child also knows about the joke. Look, there he opens the door. Oh, the dad notices. Look. Yes. Oh, but he does it on purpose so that the children will have fun. Although, come to think of it, I've always seen in video games they kind of throw the banana and it falls, and in cartoons too. But can you really slip on a banana? It could be, because since it's wet from the fruit, surely you step on it and it slides off. I don't know, Rick. It looks fake. I take the opportunity to give you our Instagram accounts here and the jokes, everything you see that is very funny that you want us to react to, you can send them to us there. And when we react, we will put your Instagram users. Hey, what's that? <gasps> no. Did he say my mom? I mean, the mom is asking him, are you calling me a monkey? He literally offended his mom. You can't do that. Of course not. But well, he's so little that he probably didn't even realize it. It's those innocent comments that children say, but they don't lie. I remember I made a rude comment about a lady who was near us right at that moment. I was like really loud. Oh, mom, look, that lady is very ugly. <laughs> um, now that you say it, you remind me of a time when my mom told me about a friend of hers who was a gossip. And when I saw her friend, I said, look, the gossip. And my mom wanted to hang me like that because I was calling her friend a gossip which was what my mom was really telling me. Oh, the child wants to call parents by their names because she doesn't think it's funny. She doesn't like to just say mommy or daddy. She doesn't like it, she thinks it's boring, and she goes away. She's like a little old lady. If I call my mom by her name, she'd kick me out of the house. I call my mom by mommy, mother, mama, and well, mommy is when I want to ask her for something. Like, mommy, please buy me this. Ma is when your mom is far away, so you just yell ma to call her. Oh, because that could be an emergency. Mother, it's like when you gotta tell her you messed up. I have to tell you something, Mother. No, to say Mother would be as if we were like royalty. Dear Mother, allow me to be so bold, but shall I tell you that the castle is in needs for a painting renewal? This is unbelievable. I mean, she's the smartest kid in the world. She's eating, resting, watching TV, and exercising all at the same time. It's great. In my childhood, I would never have thought of such a thing. Do you think she saw it from someone else, or did she learn it on her own? Well, I think she learned it on her own from using the iPad so Have much. you noticed, like, this generation of children is like the iPad kid generation? Yes, I still like it because it prioritizes her comfort. But it can fall on your face. But she doesn't care. She's eating popcorn, watching cartoons, or maybe she's watching our videos. The truth is that this girl is very smart, but you shouldn't do that. Because it happens to me that sometimes I'm in bed like that and I start to fall asleep. I'm falling asleep and I crash. Goodbye, privacy. You have a card. Look, she opened the door with a card and was shining a flashlight on herself. She acts normal, like doing that is the most common thing to do. She uses the card as if nothing happened. Uh, many questions come to my mind at this moment. One, whose wallet does the girl have? Two, from whom did the girl learn to open the door? Three, why didn't they pick up the underwear on the bathroom floor? What? Yeah, didn't you notice? No. Look, right it. there. But they were small garments, perhaps the child. Um, but ma'am, pick up the house or teach your daughter to pick up the laundry, not open doors with a card. That's vandalism. We gotta make a video of reactions where we are all of us and the one who laughs has a penalty. Eating spicy food cake slap, don't you think? What can we do? The one where we fill our mouths with water and we are like this? But we have to look at each other, so if we lose, we spit the water? I don't like it. Comment down here all the reactions you want us to do. 
and we will be doing them. Reacting inside a tub of ice, whoever laughs loses, reacting underwater. I don't know, crazy stuff. Comment that we are going to be reading them and when we do them we will mention the person who gave the idea in that video. I think it's a great idea. The child is going to jump, here it goes. Ooh. Oh no, he broke his back, that guy. Although, looking at it again, he kind of didn't just lay there in pain, he got up angry and that was it. Of course, because nobody told him he was going to hit himself so hard. Uh, he got the wrong slide and went to the red one instead of the yellow one. Because he bounced. See? Look, there he goes. It bounces. When it bounces, it goes everywhere. Maybe that slide wasn't for the boy's age. Are you afraid of slides? Not really. I've gone down every one I've ever been on. I went down a lot of slides too, but there was one that was very, very sky high and so straight up steep. In a water park, I went with Alejo and Malena. Like, you get in and the floor opens up. You fall. Out of an elevator, you fall. You must have felt such a rush in her stomach then. I didn't dare. What, you didn't? I didn't. Oh man, I would have done it. Oh, it's cute, but you see the bear looks like a dog. Of course, the girl mistakes it for a dog. Because I guess she has never seen a bear before. Apart from that, it's like a small bear, that is, like a young one, because bears are a giant. Have you seen bears in person, up close? Yeah, in a zoo. Oh, that's horrible. Don't you just want to free those animals, man? Oh, yes, I don't go to zoos anymore because of that. I think it's like a prison for animals, as if they put you in jail and you didn't do anything wrong. I would have mistaken it for a dog, too. It no, looks like I a dog. No, I wouldn't have mistaken it for a dog, but I would have wanted to touch it, even if it was a bear. Sounds spooky, aren't you afraid? No. no! 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 He got stuck as if in quicksand! Sure, I mean, first he got his shoes wet, then he tried to jump, he sank in the sand, but I think it wasn't sand, I think it must be like a river there, like a swamp. Uh, maybe it was mud or sand with mud? I think it's the same. Sand with mud, mud, earth, water. No, I think the sand is like pebbles from snails or things that are eroding and getting smaller and smaller. And the earth is the same, like a jumble of stones and things. Actually, children, the earth is a collection of molecules and atoms of human skin particles. That's science, kids. Where did you get this fake professor? I mean, I kind of was believing it. I mean, he brought a seriousness that I said he is really going to tell us something important, you know. He said it as if he was sure of what he was saying. Look at this, I told him he had to hold my hand so I could fart. Look, he's like, <gasps> surprised. Dude's like, dude, who wouldn't be surprised with such a fart that they pulled? Hold my hand. No. Hold my hand. Were you storing it or what? Oh god, it smells awful. I'm leaving. Oh no. Well, it's a good thing nothing happened to him anyway. But I mean, he was supposed to go on or come back down, but he went flying over. At the beginning of the video, it's like the kid is really cool, like he chill and then boom, he jumps into the void. And dude goes instantly flying like... <laughs> he invented a new trick. Like, yeah. dude, he is the brand new skater man of 2024. Good thing he had a helmet anyway, guys. Wear a helmet. Have you ever ridden skateboards or scooters? Yes, but always with a helmet, knee pads, and wrist guards. I love to go skating, but you also have to protect everything. The little boy is pushing her. Oh, oh no. no. Of course it made the child cry. He hit her hard. Now they're telling him to apologize. He has to apologize. It's good to teach him to apologize. What is he doing? No. Uh, and he starts crying. I mean, he goes and hits himself and starts crying. You saw that at the end he went like that with his arms wide open to hug like, Oh, daddy, it hurts Yeah, me. of course. He is still very smart though because he know it was wrong. Surely it was not intentional. So if I hit myself, I get to be the victim. Did you fight with your brother? A lot. But a lot. Too much. You have no idea. I had a gigantic bag full of Legos that Santa had given me and he was in the back singing Christmas Christmas. He was throwing the Legos out the window like it was snow. Man, such a loss. Hey, how wicked. Well, that day I grabbed him, I hit him with my elbow, he hit me with his elbow harder, and guess who got punished? Come on, guess now. You did. And who was left without the Legos? You. Uh, so I don't know what to do. Okay, he's going to kick the ball. Oh no. It hit him in the face, it was obvious that would have happened. Well, but he still accomplished it like he stopped the goal. The goalkeeper covers the goal as he pleases. He saves as he can. But this one is going to kick too. Goal! Hey, what a great goal that kid scored. Was it a goal? Yeah, look, there he kicks the ball. Wow. Wow. He is definitely Cristiano's son because he has the number seven. Subscribe if you are a Messi fan. Oh, that's a tough one. Subscribe if you are a Cristiano fan. Messi. You said it like a goat. Messi! <laughs> Always messy? Oh, subscribe, subscribe guys, Cristiano is going to win. Messi is going to win. <laughs> oh no. 
Well, that kid is a genius. I mean, he told him for claims, contact the factory, not the seller. See ya. In the end, both the father and the child will be scolded because the mother did not look happy with this comment. I think it was a plan between the father and the child. No, but the father looks surprised. And why were they filming? It's true. Oh, someone planned it or it's was it like a plan it. between brothers? The brother said, look, say this. The thing is, if you end up scolding the child, the child is going to say no, mom. But my brother was the one who told me to say that. He kicks, he celebrates, he's kind of analyzing his fingers. He's looking at his fingers. Oh, how sweet. He was kind of thinking about which finger he had been shown that meant good and went yay. He should have done a hard rock. Oh, the baby is watching sports with his dad. His dad wails and the boy celebrates. Oh, he starts wailing too. When we are children, we copy everything our parents do. There are too many crazy things that happen to you when you're a kid. Well, guys, if you like this video, like it, subscribe. See you in the next video. See! See! See!